Hey, what's up guys? Jared Valdir here with Blindside Health. And today I want to share with you my five favorite weight room pieces of equipment or gear or tools, just things I use in the weight room on a day-to-day -day basis that I find the most useful. All right, guys, coming in at number five on the list is an Airx pad. I know, super boring, right? You know, you're probably wanting to see some awesome new cutting edge gear and you get a foam pad, but man, this thing is so versatile with all the half kneeling work, with all the mobility, all the stretching. This thing is a savior, man. I tell you what, my knees have taken some wear and tear from playing ball. And this thing is a nice little pad under the knee. And it also helps for doing some balance work or maybe doing some stability work, mobility work, whatever it is. This thing is getting used almost every single workout and is worth its weight in gold. I think they're about 20 bucks on Amazon and I use the crap out of this thing. All right, guys, number four on the list are these pull-up chin-up spheres from Rogue that screw right into these one-inch holes in the rack. Um, right there, I have some three-inch spheres. And on the opposite side of the rack, I have some five-inch spheres. And these things are awesome for blowing up your back and grip work for any kind of chin. I found that I've gotten some pretty good lat development out of using those pull-up spheres. Uh, I'll zoom out here so you can see them a little better. Uh, got them situated there at the top of the rack. Yeah, so number four on the list, guys, are these pull-up spheres. And again, not a super uh, sexy item in the weight room, but man, oh man, they blow up your grip. They work the crap out of your lats. Like these things are a awesome tool to have for any kind of back development, grip development. And they're a decent conditioning tool too, because you have to grip so hard and strain so hard to stay on the sphere themselves. All right, guys, number three on my list is this Amazon Dot. Now, this is the old school Amazon Dot. I think it was their first generation, uh, but it's still doing the trick. And this thing is awesome. I use this on a regular basis as well. I can set any kind of timers for timed isometric sets. I can put on some good tunes. I have it hooked up to a, uh, a big speaker uh, through the aux port on this. And, you know, it powers my workouts. Just tell her to play some workout music you know, next song, that kind of stuff, link it to all my accounts. It's awesome. I use it every single day in the weight room. It's also nice. You can come on, turn the timer on, hit some stretching and you know, you don't have to have a watch on. You don't have to you know, do anything else. It's just all voice activation. And that is super handy in the weight room. All right, guys, number two on my list of top five favorite weight room items is my rucksack by go ruck. This thing is sweet. Uh, it's super heavy duty. I mean, you're not going to break this thing anytime soon. The stitching is phenomenal on it. Uh, as you can see here, I have some chest straps here for support. Got the lumbar strap for back support. Really, I mean, you can't cook up a better ruck backpack. Um, you know, there's optional accessory tie-ins here. You got several pockets and then the plate storage inside is extremely intuitive and efficient. As you can see here, I got a little 45 pound plate sitting in there and there's a nice compartment in the back that this place plate sits right in. You can see it just slides right in this compartment. It holds it tight. Um, if you want, there's a, another compartment in here. If you have another plate, if you'd like to add, or, you know, if you have something that you'd like to actually carry in the backpack with you and you can see it's got a very nice interior organizational compartment here with some nice mesh pocket if you need something to breathe in there another pocket up top and then an additional pocket in the front for easy access which is nice i don't like having my phone on me on my person just for some of the emf radiation that it creates and so if i can throw my phone in the pack have that big old weight between my phone and my body as i'm Rocking and rolling on my rucks, man, that's perfect. And then I don't have to worry about having uh, pockets in my shorts too. So this thing is great. This thing keeps me in great shape. It allows me to burn those extra calories on my walks and develop some strength through the resistance it creates. And that's why this Go Rucksack is coming in at number two on my list. Hey, one last thing to add to on the Go Ruck is it is 100% made and manufactured in the USA. So you're supporting our economy when you're buying that bag. All right, guys, number one on my list is the Kabuki Strength Trap Bar. As you can see, this is an open design trap bar, so you can walk right in it, hit your deadlifts, hit your RDLs, whatever you want. And the nice thing about it, having that open design, is you can hit unilateral work. 
So you can do, you know, split squats, reverse lunges, rear foot elevated, split squats. Really, you can get creative with it and do a lot of different exercises. And you can also do a lot of upper body stuff too. I've been doing a lot of seal rows. I'll do some shrugs. And the nice thing is it's got two sets of handles, uh, some regular handles up top and then some fat grip rotating handles on the bottom. And I will use those low handles for my uh, back work like the seal rows and the trap work like my shrugs. Um, it's great. Uh, another nice thing is it has a jack built into the bottom. So when you're changing your weights out, it's really, really, really easy just to set it down and then put a 45, 45 or whatever you're doing, just load it up with weights, uh, super simple. And then you just roll it over and it's good to go. Um, the thing is extremely heavy duty. I mean, this thing feels like it's built to withstand the apocalypse. I think it comes in at about 65 pounds. Um, and this thing's awesome. I mean, the sky's the limit with all the different exercises you can do with it. You get creative, the possibilities are endless. It's fun, it's a, it's a cool tool. I'll sit around trying to program some, some new ideas to use in it. Uh, one of the things that I've been messing around a little bit with that open design is hitting a couple deadlifts and then working on exploding out with a broad jump to finish. Just some cool stuff like that. And you're able to do it when you have a bar like this. So that's why this bar comes in at number one of my favorite weight room gear. So some of the items that didn't make my top five, uh, I have a couple rumble rollers back there. They're pretty nice, they're handy. Um, I'll use those time to time to loosen up fascia, to get into the muscles, loosen those up, and again, work on some mobility and restorative work. I'll probably hit some of that later today. My, my whoop score was pretty bad this morning, so that means I gotta get back in the green. I'm in the red right now. You don't wanna live in the red, it's a bad place to be. So foam roller is gonna help me get back in the green and get back to rocking and rolling at full capacity. Another runner up on the list are these Prolock collars that also have a chain eye built into the bottom. These are awesome for all the resistance chain work that I do. So I'm a big fan of accommodated resistance and that's what you get with any banded or chained exercise. Great for strength development. And the nice thing is I can throw these on the very end of the barbell, very end of the trap bar, wherever it is. And uh, I'll usually collar the weight and then throw these on the very end of the bar. That way, if I'm doing any kind of pulls off an elevated surface, the chains are nice and wide and spread out from the rest of my equipment and they're not bashing metal or I'm not coming down with my weights on top of the chains. It keeps the chains nice and spread out and far. And that's why these are runner up. Couldn't quite make the cut because you know what? Chains are you know, kind of a, a secondary tool to a lot of things I do in here. So I wanted to you know, kind of hammer out the fundamentals and the things that I used on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, guys, thank you for watching my five favorite weight room items. Uh, I hope it was informative. If you guys wanna see any other items, maybe you've seen them in the background, you're curious, uh, shoot me a question in the comments section. I'd be happy to answer. Uh, let me know what your favorite weight room items are. Maybe I'm missing some. You know, I, I try to scour and, you know, create the best possible home gym I can, but I'm sure I'm still missing something. So if you guys can fill me in, show me what you're using, what your favorite pieces of equipment are, that would be great. I'd appreciate that. And if you guys wanna see more of this content, more about my home gym, what I'm doing to stay healthy, some of my tips around health and wellness, go ahead, subscribe to this Blindside Health channel. I promise you'll like it. My goal is to help you live a long, happy, healthy life. I wanna to get to 100, I want you to get to 100, and I want your health to be awesome at 100. Because you know what? What does it matter if we age, we grow old, and our health is awful, and we're basically a slave to our own body? To me, that sounds terrible. I don't want that, and I don't want that for you either. So hit that subscribe, turn the notifications on so you don't miss videos like this, guys, and I'll talk to you later.